This video will cover the steps to configure the radio server option in the QB MP8000 series. This video is not intended to address the radius protocol slash terminology and implementation on the network level. Proper radius configuration requires that the user have adequate understanding and experience of both the radius server and of general networking. Please contact your network administrator before attempting any configuration changes on your network. Note, add each subscriber to the radius server by entering the username and password, which will be the subscriber's wireless MAC address with no delimiters. An example is shown here. To configure the RADIUS option, click on Advanced Configuration, Security, and then RADIUS. Please note, before configuring the base station, it must be added to the RADIUS server. The first step is to set up the profile name. By default, the name is Default RADIUS. This is something that you can configure to your own liking. Next is the Max Retransmission. This represents the maximum number of times a authentication request may be transmitted to the configured radio server. The range is 0 to 3. By default, it is set to 3. Next is message response time. This represents the time in seconds for which the BSU or endpoint A should wait for the radio server to respond to a request. The range is 3 to 9 seconds. By default, it is set to 3 seconds. The re-authentication period ranges from 900 to 65,535 seconds. By default, the re-authentication period is set to zero. The next step is to enter the radius server information. You have the primary server information, the secondary. If you have to use the secondary, you could go and configure it. What you're going to need is the IP address. This is the IP address of the radius server. The server port, which is typically set to port 1812, and the shared secret. The shared secret is going to be shared between the radio server and the base station itself. By default, the primary server is set to enable, and the secondary is set to disable. After all of this information has been entered, go ahead and click OK. The next step is to enable the RADIUS MAC ACL status. This can be located under Advanced Configuration, Wireless, Interface 1, and then Warp. After you've completed that, go ahead and click OK. Then go ahead and press Commit. This is going to save the configuration. For more Proxim Support TV videos and access to our various support offerings, please visit support.proxim.com. If technical support is required, please call us at 1-866-674-6626 or open a ticket with us.